Mm. Okay, so um, when 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 I mean protesters took to the streets in Tunisia during the uprising, they were just calling for jobs, for uh, social justice, and for uh, they were also shouting against corruption and calling for freedom. But now, but now, to to, what, to, to which degree have the lives of these people really changed? I mean, not not much actually, and the slow of change, the pace of change is very very slow. But I know this takes time. However, I'm I'm, I'm really looking. I'm, I I really hope that um, the 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 constituent assembly now, which is taking in charge uh, the draft of the constitution, that it will write like uh, a, a very democratic, you know, constitution that responds to the aspirations of people, a constitution that guarantees Tunisian citizens uh, the right to express them themselves freely, the right to choose, uh, to choose. I mean, their religion. I mean, the right to, to just, to just be free and do whatever they want with their lives, mm. and to, gar to, to, to guarantee also that their rights will not be violated again. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, you uh, of some way were close to the revolts. Uh, did you witness? Some violent acts. Uh, uh, some someone close to you uh, gets injured or things like that. Well, um, I mean. I mean, I, I was lucky. I mean, I did take to the street uh, and I did protest. Like, there was like this one big uh, protest in front of the interior ministry, you know, building in mm -hmm. uh, in Tunis. And this was a very famous uh, protest because it was like for the first time. I mean, those who live in Tunis, you know, they had, I mean, they, they, off, they kind of, you know, took to the street. And well, I, I was I was like I mean nothing nothing important happened. We were just you know protesting, and then out of nowhere, like you see people just running away, and it was because uh, police was like um, was like you know po police were just you know firing tear gas. So what happened was that um, I, I like other protesters just ran away, and I was trying to look for a taxi or, but I didn't fi find any. I was like wow this is really bad. But then I was lucky. I, there was like this, uh, these two women uh, with, uh, I think, one of, yeah, these two women who were also taking it to the protest. And one of the women, I mean, she, her, her husband, you know, came to, uh, with, with his car, you know, came to, to pick her up. So, 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 so they suggested that they would uh, drop me, you know, uh, near my home, and they did. So I was lucky, but I had real scares at that time because I had my friends um, at the protest there, and I was like trying to. I was actually sending them SMSs to see where they are, you know, mm -hmm. and and then I, I I've heard that they had like some problems with tear gas, but luckily they managed to uh, um, I mean to, to to escape. And this is this is nothing compared to those you know who who got you know life bullets to mm -hmm. to those you know who saw I mean to to those you know whose loved ones uh, were uh, were killed and or to those who were injured uh, during the uprising, but I, I, I've got to tell you, I, um, I was a little bit afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for your time. Thank you.